Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jimmy and this is my art life. For today's episode, I'm going to show you how I draw a quick and easy anime eye. So take out your drawing pads and pencils and follow this easy step-by-step -step tutorial. Let's start with the basic shapes. So draw a circle and this will be the iris of the eye. Then a smaller circle inside the larger circle and this will be the base eye color. Draw a circle in the middle and this would be the pupil of the eye. And last is a smaller circle at the top. And this would be the highlight or the sparkle in the eye. So once that's done, you can now add the eyelid and the eyebrow. So guys, this is more of a general or universal eye and you can use this whether you're drawing a male or a female character. This eye works every time. So now we are ready for the next step which is inking. So bring out your fine liners and here we go. First step, I will be using a Sakura Pigma Micron in 08 size tip. I use this fine liners by Sakura mainly for a number of reasons. One is that the tips are durable than most fine liners in the same category and price range. Microns also make clean, uniform lines with no ink blotting. The ink is a pigment ink which is waterproof and permanent. This is very important since we are going to use watercolors later on. Remember to make your lines as clean and accurate as possible. I do that by slowly filling out the lines. Some people with really steady hands can do it in one stroke. Notice how I did not go over some parts like the line that connects the pupil to the base eye color. I left it like that and I'll show you in a bit why. Okay, so now it is time for cleanup and let's erase the pencil marks. I use a basic plastic eraser and my tip is that first, use erasers that are soft and flexible. This tends to erase more cleanly and lessens paper breakage. Another tip is that don't put too much pressure on your eraser because if you do, your paper might just crumple and worse, it may rip. So remember, erase lightly because if your paper rips, your artwork is RIP. Now that we got the page cleaned up, we are ready for the next step, which is coloring. In here, we'll use the Sakura Pocket Field set. This is one of the watercolors I use often because of its color range and portability. I usually start out with the colors that has a larger coverage, and in this case, it's the skin tone. 
For the skin tone, I always use the John Brilliant, which is very similar to Flesh Tone, and I just mix it with a little bit of light red or burnt umber, and I just change the amount of paint color for the shading. So for the base skin color, just use more John Brilliant and less of the uh, light red or burnt umber, and when you're gonna color the shading or the shadow, uh, just use more burnt umber or light red. So now that the skin tone color is dry, we can proceed with coloring the eye. I'll start by putting down the base color of the eye. So you can basically choose any color you like. For this one, I'll use a light blue color, which is cerulean blue. Again, we need to wait for the paint to dry before we add the next color. We do this to make sure that the paint colors won't bleed to each other. In here, I am using a darker shade of blue, which is Prussian blue, to color the pupil and the shadowing at the top of the iris. This would give the eye more depth. Do you see how it's coming together? It looks more lively just by using two shades of color. This Sakura Pocket Field set of 18 colors is enough to give you ready-to-use colors and you spend less time mixing and blending colors. Although I'm still hoping I'll have the Sakura Pocket Field set with more colors, well, hopefully in the future. So basically we are done and that's actually all you need to do to complete a simple anime eye. One color for base color and a second color for shading, which is a darker color. So all we need to do now is add the eyebrows and the eyelid to complete the illustration. Although I did say earlier that we are done, it's true, the illustration is complete and you can leave it at that. But you can still stylize it. If you want to add more depth and impact to your illustration, adding these simple steps can improve the overall look of your final artwork. So far we've added a darker color to the pupil to give it more depth and in here we are adding white to the bottom part of the lighter eye color to make it pop out some more. This gives the eye a more 3D effect to it. Lastly, adding shadowing right below the eyelid also adds to the 3D effect and depth. You'll notice this whenever you watch animes. It may be subtle, but it sure makes a difference. 
I use very light shades of either grey, blue or violet for this step. And that's the last one and we are all done. Remember, this step is optional, so it's up to you if you want to make your artwork pop out some more. It really depends on your preference, but for me, personally, it depends on the overall look I want to achieve. And that's it for today's video, and it wasn't so hard, was it? I hope you enjoyed following along today's tutorial, and if you did, don't forget to leave a comment below of how it turned out. You can also tag me, just use the hashtag MyArtLife or tag me on Instagram at ToMyArtLife. Thank you so much for watching guys and I really appreciate you hanging out with me today. Also please help keep MyArtLife active by liking this video and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye for now everyone and take care.